Okay, the BJP may be the incumbent this time here in Tripura, but for the longest time, remember, this was a left citadel. And one person was the face of the CPIM here for two decades. One of India's longest serving chief ministers. He's also been arguably one of the poorest chief ministers this country had in terms of his income levels. Let's go and meet the one and only Manik Sarkar. The left is it left out? Hi, 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 sir. Hi, hi. How are you? Good to see you. I'm fine. How are you? Very well, sir. Interesting room. Yeah. yeah. Marx, Lenin, and uh, Engels. Engels. Manita, good to see you. Uh, the grand old or the grand young man of Tripura, uh, chief minister for 20 years. Uh, but you are not contesting this time. Yes. So that has, is that your decision or is that the party's decision? Honest answer. Surely, we are always honest. New group of leaders, uh, they should also be groomed. So that's why we shall have to spare space, provide space for them. So keeping all these things in my mind, I thought that this time I should not contest. I've always been fascinated. You were chief minister for 20 years. And then when someone saw your assets in 2018, you had 2,420 rupees in your bank account. And I think 1,200 rupees in cash in your wallet. After 20 years of being in politics, you had 2,400 rupees in your bank account. What did your wife say? <laughs> She does not say anything against it because I am actually eating in her hotel that is being maintained and controlled by her. So she was the home. She was the one running the house. Exactly, exactly, exactly. And you would give all your money, your salary also, I believe, to the party. Your monthly salary went to the party. Uh, that is our practice according to our constitutional provision. Communist Party members, of course, Communist Party of India, Marxist, if they are elected and if they get some money from the government. So that, ha that is to be treated as the uh, money of the government and that has to be deposited to the party. Party then decides. Accordingly, what I am getting, I am giving it to party. Like me, other comrades are also doing the same thing. Don't think that I am alone is doing. So the Congress voter went to the BJP to defeat the left in 2018. And today, uh, Manikda, you have tied up with the same Congress. BJP has forced the people of Tripura to be united to oust them from the seat of power. Why? Fascistic attack is going on. Because the very words they use against the CPM, they say when you were in power, there was a, a Gunda Gardi, there was, uh, there was a rule, authoritarian rule. They use these very words that you are using today against the BJP, against the left. I would, I would tell you, at that point of time, after 18 assembly election was over, and counting of votes, there was a gap of about 20 or 25 days. At that point of time, like you today, number of national uh, press uh, representatives, they visited Tripura. After the election was over, they met each and one of the leaders of different political parties, including BJP leader. They asked, uh, the, are you satisfied? Was there any problem? Every political party leader passed their comment, very peaceful election, we have no complaint, uh, people have exercised their franchise fearlessly, freely. So if that was not happened, how BGP would come to the government? What will you tell the next generation whose assets only seem to multiply when they enter politics? They have large cars, they live lux luxurious lives, what will you tell them? You know, I would like to tell them. I cannot advise them, I can request them. First of all, they should love the country like mothers. Loving country means loving the people of our country. And they shall have to work for their better future so that they can actually come out from the problems they have been facing, they are being faced. So to do this, to get it done, they shall have to be very, very honest, truthful, sincere. So they should not confine themselves uh, for their own interest. Manikda, thank you so much for sharing your thoughts. It's uh, pretty inspirational to meet a chief minister whose life hasn't changed even after 20 years in power. Still likes 
his black tea. On that note, it's uh, elections on my plate or chai on my plate. 